lip lining. It's not like I'm like professional or something. But this is great. Oh, look, we can see this side. It's so cold. to do today is go over to those abandoned trailers because it looked cool. The kitties are gonna fall asleep. I only have one more night here. Perhaps, just maybe, possibly, I will add one more night. We will see how tonight goes. Because so far I have not seen one person and that's exactly why I came here. Alright, that's all for now. Let's 
So it's really windy and I just had to do a voiceover. I'm just talking about how I'm finally going over to these abandoned trailers because I can't stop talking about it, clearly. And right now I'm focusing on Juju to the left of that orange truck. He will not go any farther, which is great. Good for him. Now we are walking up to finally the abandoned trailer <laughs> oh goodness and I'm just walking along it's really windy out and cold and right then when I looked in the window I saw someone or something looking right back at me my heart is racing really fast. It might not look like it. I am very calm, but that scared the living hell out of me. I don't I don't know if I saw a human or not. I don't know. And now you're about to hear me talk about this for the next forever. looking right back at me. Staring right at me. Was that a ghost? Or... I don't know. I just want to know if there is somebody in there. In the abandoned trailer. The what looks like an abandoned trailer. I have ants on me. You dead? Um, how, how are they surviving? There's no lights there. Maybe they just don't have electricity, but if they don't have electricity, they just have a blanket? A, a sleeping blanket? Juju's acting weird now. I swear I was just face to face with somebody in that window. I don't know. I want to go back over there and look, but then it's like, don't do that. Don't you ever do that. That was scary. But now I'm mad because I want to go over there and explore. But if somebody lives there, how could somebody live there? I haven't seen a car, I haven't seen a light. I was over there and very much looked like nobody lived there. It was abandoned. I don't know, I'm freaked out now. It's my last day, it's my last night. Last night, now I have adrenaline and now I'm scared, but is that a good thing? I don't know, to be continued. <laughs> me again what was I gonna say I forgot what I was gonna say I'm gonna pause this oh. I wonder if he's actually if he actually sees something he's acting like he sees something anyway to touch back on the person in the window in the what was thought to be abandoned place do you think it's a possibility that i just imagined it do you guys think that nobody lives there i hope i hope nobody actually was in the window that's what i'm praying right now i'm praying that i actually wasn't just face to face with somebody and that there was just this perfect resemblance of a human face looking at me through the window. Okay. It's the middle of the day, so everything is fine. The last two nights, I've stayed here two nights. This is gonna be my third night. I have not seen lights. I even walked over there 
This is like my 30th time talking about it, but that's how crazy. Like if I just walked over there and looked in the window again and saw the exact same thing, to be continued. <laughs> I need to ask the guy that owns the Airbnb if somebody lives over there. But nobody has stopped at that house. There's been no lights, there's been no electricity, there's been no signs of movement. He was just there, just freezing to death. Because let me tell you, I wouldn't be wearing this big jacket if it wasn't freezing. It is frigid in the desert at night. Yeah. Let's go. It's 8.30, we have to be out of here by 10. You seem to be out of I'm actually really sad to be leaving. It was peaceful, but at the same time, scary.